All right, I am pressed for time, so we're gonna. This one's gonna be no edits. This is gonna be raw and uncut. <laughs> but Peace Dragon. First off, the title. Oh God, I, I was going to skip this movie just because it was called Pete's Dragon. Like I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I was gonna skip it just on that. What a terrible title, Pete's Dragon. But I got a chance to see it today in 3D, and to put it to you bluntly, I really did not like this movie. This movie is so... There's nothing thought-provoking about it. There's nothing original about it. There's nothing... There's no substantially emotionally investing sequences. Like, there's no sequences where I felt like a tear was coming on. Or there's no scene in this movie where I felt like it was pulling at my heartstrings. Or like it blew my mind. Or... There's no usage of visual effects where I was like, wow, like, it just, ah, this movie is just so plain. It just feels so generic, like something I would have picked up at just, just a shot in the dark at a red box. Like, it feels like a, a Disney Channel original movie or something. And I don't mean that as a compliment. Like, it's just so cheesy and corny to me. And it, it, it seems to borrow so heavily from, like... I don't know, it's just like a very plain amalgamation of like Tarzan, King Kong, and The Jungle Book. Like, this is basically Mowgli. This is basically King Kong. I, um, I don't know. There's just nothing, there's nothing special to me about this movie. I just thought it was just so formulaic and stereotypical. It doesn't seem to have it, there's nothing distinctive about this movie. <clears throat> Well, I guess except that it has a green furry dragon, which the visual effects never did it, did it for me. And even worse, the design of this dragon, it just irks me. Like, it, that's not... First off, that's not a dragon, okay? That's a giant green furry Barney that shoots fire like I don't <laughs> or like it's almost like a, a dog with wings like it really doesn't strike me as a dragon and I think it only uses fire once in the film I think but I don't know it's just I just thought it was kind of cornball like something to just red box or maybe Netflix or something I didn't really like it it just there's just nothing special about it it it, it, it never makes me feel a sense of awe or wonder ah i don't know i mean for those of you who like love this movie I, I i would love to know why you love it because i just i don't see anything special about it i'm personally feeling like a probably like a four like a four out of ten just i don't know like why why go why pay your money to see this like go go watch the jungle book favreau's jungle book i thought that was great you know, go watch Inside Out. Go watch Lego Movie. You know, some the uh, I don't know. This there's nothing special about this movie, and it's just so cheesy. Like there's this one sequence sequence with Carl Urban where he's like, what does he say? He says something to the effect of like, I gotta catch that dragon. I I can't remember. <laughs> like, ah, oh man, it really sounds like I'm just coming off as a hater to this movie. I don't mean to be, but honestly, I just. I almost started dozing off in some places in this movie, but hey, that's just me. I'm feeling a 4 out of 10 on it. What'd you think about this movie? I think it's kind of a, snoo a snoozer. Maybe red box that shit or just skip it, honestly. Um, and if you're coming with the, oh, well, it's just something to bring your kids to. Look, there are way better kids movies than this, okay? Way better. You know, take them, take them to see this one. This one looks pretty unique. I'm, I'm, I, uh, I'm hoping that that one's good, but that's my thoughts on it. What about you?